The Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus comes in the usual black box that we are familiar with for all the Galaxy family, but the S10 Plus goes back to the standard two-piece box of the S8 series and earlier phones, not the magnetic flap that was found on most S9 series phones. Once you open the box, you have the phone sitting right on top with a pull tab attached to easily lift it off the packaging. Simply lift the phone out and you can see the fast charging wall plug, the USB to Type-C adapter, and two boxes, one with the standard Type-C power cord and the other with a pair of AKG wired headphones of pretty good quality. Everything seemed pretty well packaged, but it did seem like I was missing something. And I found it inside the top cap. Instead of sitting under the phone like most previous Galaxy phones, the box with all the paperwork was fit tightly into the top cover. The box contained the SIM tray pin, all the usual paperwork like the warranty info, how to create a Samsung account, a quick reference guide, and now it also includes a notice that there's a screen protector already installed on the phone and what to look for if you're looking for a third party screen protector. Looking at the back of the phone, there's a temporary protection film which peels off easily. At the bottom, we can see the speaker, charging port, and headphone jack. Moving up, we see the 16 megapixel 5 lens camera, and on the very top is the SIM and SD card tray. On the front, you can see the edges of the factory installed screen protector around the dual front cameras, the 10 megapixel selfie cam, and an 8 megapixel depth camera. Looking at the front, you can't really see where the fingerprint reader is hiding, and the front camera blends in nicely when the screen is off, making the phone seem 100% screen. Charging the S10 Plus is easy using the supplied Type-C cable or any Qi wireless charging pad. My phone arrived with 83% charge, and it was 100 at 100% in about 20 minutes using the Type-C cable. As you can see here, I'm booting the phone for the first time. It took about 50 seconds to get to the Let's Begin screen, so I've sped that up about two times. A normal reboot, without a software install, is about 10 seconds or so. After you start the setup process, it'll be almost exactly the same as every other Galaxy device you've ever used or seen. Setting up the fingerprint and face recognition is simple. The process took about a minute. I sped this up about two times again. One thing I found is that you need to move your finger around a lot and make sure to get all around the edges or else you'll get errors when you're trying to use it in normal day-to-day -day operation. I actually had to delete this fingerprint you're watching me put in and redo it and since then when I got all the edges of my finger it hasn't failed once. I'll go into daily use and functions in a separate video. Before I sign off though I want to make a quick note about the buying experience on Samsung.com for this unlocked S10 Plus. I went online on the 21st, selected the options black and 128GB storage, I passed all the optional accessories except the pre-order gift, the free Galaxy Buds, which I'll review when they actually arrive. I opted to trade my S9 Plus I currently have and got an instant $550 off, so out the door and with no carrier bloatware it costs less than half the retail price. Due in stores on the 8th, my device was on a FedEx truck on the 3rd, sat for two days before arriving on the 6th. If you're looking to avoid carrier bloatware apps on your device, I would absolutely recommend getting the unlocked version, and you can do it with monthly payments as long as you have decent credit from Samsung.com. At this point, I would recommend the S10 Plus. It's not perfect, but it comes pretty close. Thanks for watching this unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus Unlocked Edition. If you found this helpful, feel free to give me a like and a subscribe. If not, drop me a line so I can learn to do better. Bye bye.